now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will sing praises to my God for as long as I live. Put not your trust in rulers in the sons of men, in whom there salvation. His spirit will depart from him, and to his earth will he return. On that day all his plans perish. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and it will for salvation to become incarnate of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. And without change became men and were crucified. O Christ God, trampling down death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. <laughs>
from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, food does not commend us to God, for neither if we eat are we the better, nor if we do not eat are we the worse. But beware, lest somehow this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to those who are weak. For if anyone sees you who have acknowledged, acknowledged eating in an idol's attempt, temple, will not the conscience of him who is weak be emboldened to eat those offered, those things offered to idols, and because of your not, and because of your knowledge, shall weak brothers perish, for whom Christ died. But when you thus sin against the brethren, and wound wound their weak conscience, you you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food makes my brother stumble, I will never again eat meat, lest I make my brother stumble. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ, our Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? If I am not an apostle to the others, yet doubtless I am to you, for you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. Amen. Peace be to you, O reader. And to your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom of the Lord in his soul. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord. Let us shout with joy to God our Savior. Make the pure light of your divine knowledge shine in our hearts, O Master, lover of mankind, and open the eyes of our mind that we may understand the teachings of your gospel, and still in us also, also the fear of your blessed commandments, so that overcoming all cardinal desires may pursue your spiritual life, both thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, God, our light of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory, together with your Father's everlasting, your all holy, good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, stand aright, let us listen to the holy gospel. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said when he the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him. Then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep at his right hand, but the goats 
at the last. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food, I was thirsty and you gave me drink, I was a stranger and you welcomed me, I was naked and you clothed me, I was sick and you visited me, I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see thee hungry and feed thee or thirsty and give thee drink? And when did we see thee a stranger and welcome thee or naked and clothe thee? And when did we see thee sick or in prison and visit thee? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren. You did it to me. Then he will say to those on his left hand, Depart from me, you curse, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you did not welcome me. Naked and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison and you did not visit me. Then they will also, then they will, then they also will answer, Lord, when did we see thee hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to thee? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me, and they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous are into eternal life. Slava Jesus Christ, glory be to Jesus Christ. This weekend is the weekend of last judgment, the Sunday of last judgment, meat bear. And we, here in the, the, between the epistle and the gospel, a few key things for us to, to reflect on. And to acknowledge as we prepare to enter into the great and holy fast in a week's time. Beginning from the epistle, we have here Paul talking about how somebody might be eating the food of a, offered to an idol. As the person who was eating this food, didn't see it as an issue because they didn't believe in the idol, but rather that it was just food to tend to the nourishment of the, of the body. But he points out that at times when we do this, we might make a, it a stumbling block for somebody else. Somebody who doesn't understand what we are doing. They might perceive us from a distance seeing that we are worshipping that idol by eating the, the food offered to it. As we enter into the fast, each and every one of us is going to be fasting differently. Some will be taking a strict course to the fast and abstaining from meat and dairy and becoming more stringent into their prayer life, into their almsgiving, into their support of their brothers and sisters. Some may be taking a softer approach 
as maybe the fasting period is the first time they're entering, they're practicing Great Lent. So they might be abstaining a little less from certain foods. They might be in a labor-intensive job where it's necessary to receive the appropriate nourishment to function through the day. The key thing to realize as we go into the Great Lent that Paul is pointing out in this epistle is don't look at your brother's plate. Don't look and see what they're eating or doing. But focus on your own. Tend to your spiritual needs, your physical needs. But do it with the guidance of your spiritual father or mother. Do it not out of a need to just go, I'm doing something, but do it with the true spirit of the fast in mind. We don't want to be saying, well, you know, I'm going to have a cheeseburger today because I've been working in the yard and, and laboring around. If we full well know that we could be eating something else, because we're capable or knowledgeable in how to get the appropriate nourishment without having meat. The fast, the fast was created, was set before us so that we could become closer to God. Not merely to put restrictions on ourselves to make it difficult to live, but to be able to learn that we don't need everything we think we do. That we can abstain from things, whether it be food, drink, or even temptation. That we can find our way without accommodating the wants of our mind and body. And if we are living this way, if we are trying to do our best, then we begin to fall into that group of the sheep that Christ talks about in the Gospel. We begin to do the good thing. We focus less on ourselves then and more on how we can help those around us. On tending to those who are in need. Because often, when we find ourselves focusing on our own wants, focusing on what's on our plate, we forget about the fact that there's that person that is barely making ends meet that we could help them out. Or that there was an endeavor that came across the front, at, to the front door or was being done in the church that you could have supported. But instead, because of the wants in your life, you neglected to do so. This is what Christ is talking about when he says, you, vi you fed me, you gave me drink, you visited me. It's because when we discard those around us that become often a, a nuisance because they're always there, those people struggling, our, our homeless pop population, as we keep hearing, keeps growing. And for many, they're a nuisance. They're a nuisance and we don't want to have to deal with them. We ignore them as best as we can. 
But dear brothers and sisters, here's the opportunity. In whatever way we can, to help them. Whether it be through food, through a warm coat, a blanket, or even just a hello. This is what we are called to do during Great Lent. To let our actions be the gospel preached in the world. That we are called to support our brother who's struggling through the fast and not condemn them for not doing enough. So as we go about the fast, as you take this last week to prepare yourself for the fast, reflect on how you can journey through this great Lenten period to the resurrection of our Lord in the best way. How you can be an example in the world of how to live, of how to be Christ-like. Because this is what we have been called to be from the day of creation, from the day of our baptism. To be Christ-like, striving for our salvation. Let us remember this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great love and kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his eminence, our metropolitan, Aledion. For our brethren, the presbyters, priests, monks, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God, loving and God, protected country, Canada, its people, government, armed forces, that the Lord God will help and aid them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and never memorable Orthodox Patriarch, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all Orthodox Christians, be part of this life before us, who here and everywhere lay asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation, and the forgiveness, remission of sins for the servants of God, the priesthood of this holy temple. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray unto you, O Lord our God, hear the prayer of our sinners, and have mercy upon your servants, the priest of us, the priest George, the priest of Diana, the priest of Catherine, and the seal of Ron Valerie, Steve, Kira, Joanne, Sula, Danica, Elsie, Claudia, Vasil, and protect them from all affliction, evil, wrath, danger, necessity, from spiritual and physical illness. And grant to them health and long life, we beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray unto you, O Lord our God, that you will grant unto your servant, the priest Olaf, Ollie, Daryl, Alan, Sophia, Valerie, healing from their illness, from every malady, raise them from the best of their health and soul and body, we beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to the Lord our God that he will hearken unto the voice of the prayer of a sinner and protect all Ukrainian people in difficult trials and time of war for their liberation. Have mercy upon his servants, all Ukrainian armed forces, personnel, 
defend Ukraine from occupation, and that our own merciful Lord will shield them from fatal wounds, from all spiritual and physical illness, and that he will protect them from all affliction, wrath, anger, and sorrow in time of war, and that he will grant them to return from war in good health, uninjured, and in blessedness. Through the prayers of the holy archangel Michael, merciful Lord, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Look down to your dwelling place on high, O Lord our God, and as the good and merciful one, easy anguish, misfortune, distress, and sorrow of your Ukrainian people in time of war, especially refugees, children, the infirm, the aged, manifest your might, come and protect them all, that the enemy would not rejoice at the sight of our death. We pray you, most merciful Lord, through the prayers of our Lady Theotokos, hear us. And have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord Jesus, a merciful one, our Savior, look upon our people in Ukraine in time of war, whose sons and daughters of refugees deprived of human shelter wander about the earth, fleeing from the horrors of war and death. Manifest your mercy before us sinners and grant shelter to all Ukrainian refugees and bless all those who offer them shelter and aid through the prayers of the Holy Hour of Nicholas, the wonder worker, hear us. And have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we praise you, O Lord God, hear us in our great need and our thirst for your presence. As you have said, the harvest is indeed great, but the labors are few. And we pray that you will open the hearts of many to a desire to bring in the harvest dedicated. Holy priests, deacons, and monastics, who in following your example will serve your people and satisfy their spiritual needs. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray, O oh Lord, embrace our young people and give them the courage required to overcome all obstacles in life, all temptations that might plunge them into spiritual darkness. Give to the parents and first teachers of faith, morality, and piety the courage to be the guiding light in their life. Hear us, O oh Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and venerable temple for those who labor. And those who sing them for all the people are present to await your great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, accept your children's supplication from your servants. Have mercy on us according to your great mercy. And send down your bounties upon us and upon all your people who await the rich mercy that comes from you. For you, our merciful God, and lover of mankind, and you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, you are the only God in heaven and on earth. You have dominion over all kingdoms and nations, and strength and power are in your hands, and no one can resist you. You rest upon the cherubim and the seraphim constantly praise you. So what can man do against you? Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Behold, with your eyes the evil intentions of our enemies. We believe that you alone are merciful and strong, and that you can deliver us from their hands. You saved your servant David from the hand of the strong. Join once again that your strength is in the weak, and accept with the sorrow of Hezekiah's heart, granting him more years of life. Give peace and tranquility to our God-loving people, and recompense us not for our sins. For we remember the words of our Savior, your only begotten Son, and your Lord Jesus Christ. All who take the sword shall perish by the sword. Therefore we do not rely on our weapons, but only on you. Knowing your power, you work miracles, from you comes victory and defeat. Grant for Ukraine a deep and a viable peace, protecting her from war, an invasion of enemies and giving her all that is good for the benefit of soul and body. For you are the God of mercy and the King of peace and the Savior of our souls. And we offer you the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us the faithful pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord have mercy. That you will lay them with the word of truth. Lord have mercy. That you will reveal them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. That you will unite them to this holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord have mercy. Help them, save them, have mercy on them, protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. God, if you must bow your heads to the Lord. who dwells on high in regards to humble of heart, you send forth your only begotten Son and, our, and God, our Lord Jesus Christ, and salvation you marry. So upon your servants, the catechumens, who bend their necks before you, make them worthy in due time of every generation, 
for forgiveness of sins, the robe of incorruption, unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them among your chosen flock. God, with us, they may also glorify your most honorable, majestic name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. See, O Lord, should be there, the whole Lord should be there, to me, 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 to We give thanks to you, O Lord God of hosts, for you have made us worthy to stand even now before your holy altar to bow down before your compassion for our sins and the failings of the people. Accept our prayer, O God, and make us worthy to offer you prayers, supplications, and bloodless sacrifices for all your people. Enable us, whom you have placed in this, your ministry, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to call upon you at all times and all places, without condemnation or offense, but with a clear conscience that hearing us, you may be merciful to us according to your great goodness. Bota vina laja do siaka slava chesti poponino, tui sailors to the Wadokovi, Nani Pochachas in the Viki Viki. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. Again and often times we fall down before you. And we pray to you, O good one and lover of mankind, that looking down upon our petition, we cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant us to stand blameless, and without condemnation before your holy altar. Grant also to those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them to worship you blamelessly with fear and love, and to partake without condemnation of your holy mysteries, and to be accounted worthy of your heavenly kingdom. That ever guarded by your might may send out glory unto you, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Don't lose my eyes and flesh. Come to visit the Lord, 
Archbishop, His Eminence, the Lady Honor, Archbishop of Winnipeg and the Central Eparchy, Metropolitan of Canada, all Orthodox hierarchs, the Honorable Priests of the Diaconates in Christ, and all monastic ranks, those who minister and those who sing in this holy temple, may Lord God remember His kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. <laughs> Uria visoko siudu deske yoho i matru našu krajinu nekaj pomni na hospod boj tatsi svojim zauženen i posjak časki na viki viki. The honorable and ever memorable founders, benefactors and parishioners of this holy temple, may the God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Vasi si pravoslavni hristijan nekaj pomni na hospod boj tatsi svojim zauženen i posjak časki in a viki viki. Amen. 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 The noble Joseph took any rest full body from the tree, wrapped it in a clean shirt of room, which place was and laid it in the tomb. Do good, O Lord, and your good pleasure design. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built, and be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation of burnt offerings, and the offer bullets upon your altar. So, Pope Molet, when I show us, but have Sacrifices, 
for our sins and for the heirs of the people. Make us worthy to find grace <coughs> in your sight that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto you and that the spirit of your grace may dwell upon us and upon these gifts here often and upon all your people. Shadrot, Shadrot, Tommy,
come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one.
into the world to save sinners of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your own most pure body, and this is truly your own precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive me of my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your most pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies. Neither like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the thief I will confess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be neither to my judgment nor condemnation, but unto the healing of soul and body. With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to
Unfortunately, unfortunately, due to some of the glory of the Lord of Shana, uh, the exalted and happy, uh, glad, most radiant purity of such as the resurrection of the Lamb of God, God is there. Wash away, O Lord, the sins of all those who remember here to you through the prayers of all your saints. Save your people, Lord, bless your heritage. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have come and filled the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, who has saved us. Always now, whenever under the age. Let us stand aright, right, having partaken of divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life giving us the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having as the day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves, one another, and all our life unto Christ, our God. We thank you, O Master, lover of mankind, benefactor of our souls, that today you made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish all in your fear, guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and supplication of the glorious day of Tokus, never Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. Before you, our sanctification, do we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Слава Тобі, Гресе Боже, обуве на наше слава Тобі. Слава Отцю і Сину і Святого Духові, і нині, і посягчас, і на віки віків. Амінь. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Благослови. May Christ Church of God, who rose of the dead for our salvation through the intercession of his most pure mother of our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy apostles Peter and Paul, of whom this temple is named, of St. Tarasius, of Constantinople, who we commemorate today, and of all the saints for his majesty, his good and the lover of mankind. Oh. Slava Jesus Christu. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Just a few brief announcements. First and foremost, we do not have any fellowship lunch today following the liturgy. So I pray that you have a blessed afternoon. Um, and uh, we'll have a, a, hopefully we'll have fellowship the next, uh, after the next service. Um, as we are a week away from entering into the Great and Holy Fast, on March 19th, the first week of Great Lent, that's the Tuesday, we will have the Canon of St. Andrew of Crete uh, service at 5 p.m. At 3 p.m. on that day, we will change the, the linens from the white that you see here to the purple. So if you are available, to come and to assist in changing the linens on uh, the 19th at 3 p.m., please uh, let me know um, or, or just come and, uh, and, and join um, so that we many hands make light work and we can make the, the changes to the, the church for Lent. As well, um, following that, the Saturday, March 23rd, is our first memorial Divine Liturgy, Memorial Saturday Divine Liturgy. So at that liturgy, um, you are invited, encouraged to uh, bring um, your memorial offerings, uh, kolachi, kolobo, uh, whatever um, tradition you have to bring for commemorating the members of your families and friends, um, and uh, prepare your lists for, for those uh, that are departed to be commemorated and we will do that on March 23rd. Um, if you're not able to be there for the 23rd, we do on April 6th. We'll also have another memorial liturgy on that uh, Saturday. Um, as well, this weekend, uh, coming this coming weekend, our brothers and sisters of uh, St. Nectarios, uh, Romanian, Orthodox community here in Kelowna, they will be having their uh, bishop uh, come to visit them as they are celebrating the one year since the foundation of founding of their, their community officially um, here in Kelowna. So if you are able to, um, if, uh, I encourage you to come and to join them for divine liturgy here with uh, the bishop. It, hierarchical divine liturgies are always very very enjoyable for myself. They're, they're nice and, and I encourage you to participate and to join if you're able to. Um, I will, of course, also be serving uh, liturgy in Vernon for that Forgiveness Sunday. Uh, so if you um, aren't uh, here in Kelowna, maybe you're in Kamloops or, or, or Vernon, um, you're welcome to join us in Ver Vernon for liturgy as well. Um, With that, that's the, the bulk of the major announcements. If there is anything, uh, there is some things in the bulletin. Um, if you haven't got the uh, up service calendar, I think there's still some at the back. If not, we'll, we'll have to make more copies, but please uh, uh, grab one if you don't have one. And just as, as a, a side note, I'm, I'm reminding everyone, if you are traveling between the parishes for services, Kamloops liturgies now start at 9.30 a.m. So if you are uh, making your way to Kamloops for services, 
um, they start a half hour earlier uh, than we do right now in Kelowna and in Vernon. So make that, that note for your travels if you're coming. Um, with that, I pray that you have a, a blessed week and uh, God willing, we'll see you um, next weekend or in two week or later in the week for uh, after Lent has started for the canon. Christ is in our midst. Christos